Well, this guy's got the honor of being the first driver interview of race day. Sage Karam, the AES Indiana Chevrolet, car number 24. And Sage, what is this day like for you? You've been through this a handful of times. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's uh, getting to the track early. Um, I think a lot of people think we get to sleep in, you know, before the race, but we're here super early. I, I, I think I woke up today at about 5.30 in the morning and had to get the police escort into the track um, since I'm not staying here in, in like an RV or anything. So, um, yeah, we got, you know, team meetings, interviews, you know, a bunch of media stuff. Um, just getting ready, you know, and counting down the hours to, to green flag. But um, I'm feeling good. I'm ready to go. I'm uh, excited. You know, the whole month buildup of uh, race day and, that, you know, for it to finally be here, it's, uh, it's exciting. And it's exciting to come back into the place and have that energy of fans walking around again. And this being a locally owned team and so many local sponsors, this is a real easy team for Hoochers to root for, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, basically uh, almost all the sponsors on the car are Indiana-based. So, um, you know, they got a... It's like an Indiana team, Indiana car with a Pennsylvania kid driving it. So um, it, it's a lot of fun. You know, I, I, I hope that we can make Indiana proud and all the companies on the car. Um, it looks beautiful out there and it's been fast and race trim. So hopefully that trend continues today. You know, we were good on carb day and, uh, you know, similar weather conditions, obviously a bit sunnier today, but I think it'd be a pretty good race. Starting in the last row, not going to be easy. You got a lot of dirty air to start with. What is your mindset? What is what is the strategy as you open this things up? Obviously, that first lap is going to be huge to stay out of trouble, right? Yeah, I mean, obviously, getting through the first lap is huge. You know, I think uh, it is a bit more difficult to pass um, being further back. So I think you're going to see a lot of guys taking a lot more risk on the first lap. Um, so where I'm starting, you know, it's good because I kind of have time to react to something if, if something does happen. So, um, you know, I got fast cars next to me with uh, Will and Simona. So. You know, I'm sure they don't want to be in the back for too long either, so I'm sure we're all going to link up and try and get to the front together. You were live on our webcast yesterday, and you told us your tradition the night before is to eat... Panda Express. Panda <laughs> Express. How did that start, and do you get the same thing the night before? Yeah, I don't know. I um, It was before one of my 500s, and I, I had a really good run, and I had Panda Express the night before, and I don't know. I guess you don't change anything that works, right? So right. It, it worked the one year and kind of stuck with it since, so... Um, I was at Panda Express yesterday. I got chow mein, double orange chicken. That's the order. Uh, I love it there. And uh, who knows, if I win, maybe I'll go back tonight. <laughs> Last question. Uh, show us the tattoo. Yeah. Uh, we added on the webcast. Look, he's got the, the, the wing and wheel here. Tell me why and what's next. Um, yeah, so basically I got the tattoo. Um, you know, I, I looked at it like, you know, Olympians get the Olympic rings whenever they go to the Olympics. And, uh you know, racing doesn't have the Olympics, but, you know, the Indy 500 is basically the Olympics of racing. So, um, as a little kid, I always said I wanted to get the Indianapolis Motor Speedway logo on me uh, once I do it one day. And, you know, I was able to fulfill that in 2014. And then uh, one day I was like, I'm going to go get it. So I went and got it. Um, so hopefully now we can win the race and hopefully I can do something else. Maybe I'll do something with, like, the Borg if uh, I get my face on there. Got to get the Borg water on. Sage, thanks for the time and good luck today. Yep, thank you.